Let me share something really quick with you this morning. <laughs> mm. You see, when it comes to love making, 70% of women, if not 90, but let's say 7, let's give them good credit. 70% <laughs> of most women believe that all that matters is all about them. It becomes a very egoistic thing. It becomes a very personal thing to the point that they are the one that always quick to complain. Ah, this my penis is not big enough. This my penis is not long enough. This my penis is not strong enough. This my cannot satisfy me. This my cannot do this. This my cannot do that. Why is it always all about you? Why is it always all about complaining and complaining? And all these complaints just you. That's why you have 80% of men today feeling and having inferiority complex when it comes to making love in the bed. They believe some have tension like, oh, I hope I will do it well. Oh, I hope I can satisfy her. Oh, I hope I can help her. But what I want to share with you today is something different. What is different here is another perspective for you as a woman to be seeing it. And what you have to be seeing here is, when it comes to love making, you both have role to play. Do you know that 80% of men has never know what is an orgasm? They just ejaculate. Same thing they do when they masturbate. Same thing they can put a pump uh, and just do. Same thing they can just do anywhere. That's what they do with you. So that's why some women for men is just like a tools of masturbation. Because you come, they meet you, brrr, five minutes, they have come and the game is over. When they are leaving you, they can just leave you and go to the next woman. You will think, ah, this man don't have love. Ah, this man don't care. Outside the emotions you should call love and those things, outside that, many women don't know how to create a bond that can bind them and their men together. All they do is waiting for that man to do it for them. And the day that man will now meet a woman who really know how to do these things, from that day you have just expired in his head. It's not his fault, it's because it's the nature of a man to, to be wow. <laughs> so when men see something fresh and new, they are like, Wow, especially when it's different and smell nice. So as a woman, you have to know this. Always give your man a penis massage. Always give your man a penis massage. The beauty of penis massage is another sacred act of an intimacy that bound you and your man. Because you know why? The penis is a magic wand. So the more you massage it gently and so consciously, the more he rise. And when he rise, there is this kind of a strong bond that it creates that now binds you together with that penis. So anywhere that penis is, that penis will always miss you. And the, the missing now will create a thought. It will create like a thought which will always make the man want you around. And you have to also play with the anus of your man. I'm not saying put dedos or things in his anus. No. Stimulating it with your fingers, your tongue, playing with it, with oil, massaging it while you're massaging all his balls and everything. Those things help a man to have orgasm. Don't well, forget that the G spot of a man is in his anus. That's why many men don't know what is an orgasm because they are always very shy. They don't let women touch them. They are like, oh, not good, they're not good. They're no, that's where your G spot is, dear yeah, man. So let her come there. Let her play with it. Let's learn to spend time with the penis of your man. Don't always be rushed as a woman. You just want it all. 
then it's greedy. It's it's it, it's 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 just like you think only about you. It doesn't work like that. Learn to play with the pennies of your man. Learn to spend time with the pennies of your man. Learn to even draw and make painting of the pennies of your man. It connects you consciously, spiritually to that magic wand. And with that magic wand, you can even hold it and pray as if you are holding a microphone. This is not just for fun. These things are spiritually connected. Your magic wand of a man, which you now call a penis, is like that. It's like that divine staff, which you can create with. So, as a woman, when you are holding it, hold it nicely, hold it well, meditate with it, connect with it, put it to your chest, clock it with your breast, and play with it. Spend time doing that. Don't rush. Your man can just sit down, maybe he's watching TV or he's just relaxing. Be there and be busy with that. Those little things you see, we create a very strong bound and intimacy. If the only time you see your man penis is when your leg is open and you are waiting for him to put it inside, trust me, that man will leave you someday. It doesn't mean he don't love you. He just needs something better. That's really what I want to share with you. Play with your man, your, the magic wand of your man. Help your man to feel the beauty of being masculine. Help them worship their masculinity. Help them raise the energy and bring all the vibration up. Help them assist them many men are so emotionally broken they don't know how to feel love anymore but the love the more you show love to their pennies the more you show care to their pennies the more you take very good care of that pennies the more you help them heal those traumas many men have mommy issues they have daddy issues they have a lot of childhood traumas you as a woman you are God, and your duty is to recycle and reset its energy, and that starts from you worshipping. That's magic one. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye <laughs> for now. I don't always feel comfortable uh, talking about masks. Right? That's why you hear me talk more and lots more about vaginas. Because I love a judge. <laughs> bye bye. Hmm.